have you experienced days like this before oh, or yeah. periods like this before? So this is not abnormal. No, this isn't abnormal at all. It's just aggravating. <laughs> <laughs> it's typical early season when they've got hens with them and they just don't want to talk. I don't know. <laughs> Starting to question my turkey hunting abilities. Well, I feel bad that I have nothing to contribute to the situation. No words of wisdom. It drives you nuts when you know turkeys can hear you, but they don't want to answer. Huh? She's <laughs> dead here. If I... Is there one up there? <laughs> It's just, always, it's just always a battle. I think that's actually pretty funny. <laughs> just you're like the pan would have to yeah. be from here. <laughs> well, if I frame it up like I would, it's just like you're like just peeking yeah, into yeah, it. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, as you guys probably will see, it was a pretty slow morning. We did hear some birds gobbling down further on the creek. You know, we've had some awesome hunts here in the past, and that's what I was hoping for this morning. Is this ridge? It just sets up perfect. They they roost there just about every evening, but. They usually pitch down right on top. And you know, as gobblers do, they love to get up high where they can gobble and everything can hear them. And they usually pitch down right on that ridge. And uh, had a hunt here with Blake last year on his birthday. And they did exactly that. They flew down, come right down to the decoys and you know, just most picture perfect hunt, you know, you could ever ask for. And uh, really hoping they'd do that for Mindy this morning, but you know. They didn't. They didn't. So, so. on to something else. Uh, we've got some more places we'll go, but you know, well, you Alrighty. ready? Yeah, I am. I think I'd like some hot chocolate. Yeah, hot chocolate and a biscuit. <laughs> Which is terrible, because it's not even cold, but yeah, I'm just like... This I usually only shake like that when they start gobbling. That's when I get fired up. Let's find one of them. Yeah, you got to get, you always have the, the obligatory point. Right there, right there. Uh, or, the, or the obligatory point of... Everybody's pointing in <laughs> yeah. different directions. No, yeah, then you start arguing. No, he was over here. No, man, I tell you, he was over here. And then Goblin he's over there, and you're both wrong. You're like, yeah. Yep. Did you yeah, hear one? I found I heard one more. Off the right side? Mm -hmm. There's a, that's not us on the side of the fence, but we've called a bunch of them up. There's like a little straight down hill and a bench field down below. We've called a bunch of them up out there on that point, usually where there's a road mm -hmm. that comes up to that point. But we've called lots of them up right there on top. Well, I heard something too, and then I thought I was crazy, but I, I same, the same I direction. heard it that yeah. direction too. Yep. We can go ahead and grab our stuff. We can just walk all the way around this road out on that point. Pointing. Got one gobbling, but he is way across way on the other across. property. Oh. Yeah, he's farther down. Oh, he's yeah, in a better yeah, spot. Yeah. He's not wire fence yeah. but there's places like this right here little gaps and it has barbed wire we'll just have to try to climb up through one of them gaps
do is cross the fence. And once he crosses the fence and you can get a good shot at his head, you can take it. Okay. So have your gun pointed at the fence so you're ready to shoot right away. That a girl? That a girl, Mindy? Holy cow! You did it! Put the safety on. I did already. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I just need a second. <laughs> I know that I probably should be more excited, but I just need a second. <laughs> okay, I want to go see him. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, girl, way to go. God. It worked. It worked. It did. Yes. Perfect. 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 Oh, you couldn't have you couldn't have drew it out no better. We got another one gobbling at us over here. Did you hear? Yeah. Good bird. Big old heavy bird. That is awesome. That was incredible. Oh, we, we couldn't have drew that out no better. Well, you didn't have to watch him very long. Nope. Exactly. That's exactly like what I wanted. <laughs> I didn't have a chance to bond with it. <laughs> I heard those leaves and I was like, oh man. Oh, he's, he's gonna come. He's gonna, it's gonna work. This little soft cone is scratching those leaves, man. He came right up that hill. That's oh. perfect. He's just right down in the field below us. I'm tore up, man. I'm shaking. <laughs> I didn't have time to get too, too tore up because we're, you know, talking about where she can shoot, like distance wise, distance safety and... wise. There's a little branch that was coming up in front of her. I said, last thing I said is shift your body a little bit so you can shoot right at the fence. So as soon as he crosses, you can kill him. Yep. And as soon as we got situated like that, I heard spitting and, spitting and drumming. Spitting and drumming. <laughs> that, is test, that is a beautiful turkey too. Look at that oh, tail gorgeous. fan. I feel like these feathers are lighter than some. I don't know, maybe not. Perfect shot, Mindy. Oh, gun, you couldn't know any better. I'm tickled for you. Oh, That's man. a big old beard on that dude. Yeah. But just a Gorgeous. pretty tail Golly, fan. Man. That's yeah, just tip, beautiful. Tips. Yeah, he's going on the door because I'm going to make a wreath out of him. So that reminds me, we need to save a lot of the feathers. Yeah. But I mean, it worked out like where he'd come up right here. About the time he got right here, he could see that decoy, you know, that hen. And so, I mean, he, that probably made him raise up and look at it, you know, and just perfect, really. I, mean, I will been... say I was, I, I, apparently I wasn't paying as close of attention to distance because I had kind of told myself I wouldn't shoot him if he was beyond that stick. And then when he came up, I saw him and I forgot all about the stick <laughs> and where the stick was. <laughs> and so he's, uh, he's farther than I thought, but I guess I also felt like about this the the size of the dot was about what i remembered it being on the neck on the target when uh -huh. we were yeah. practicing yeah and so no that, that is a perfectly ethical shot with that gun at that distance absolutely i don't know with turkey populations the way they are i really don't want to do more than one hey um, you can go hiking now so today is the sixth i shot a turkey age Adult. Adult. Yeah, he's kind of heavy. I'm that's 20, 22, 23 pound bird. I'm telling you right now. All right, I think I'm good, right? Your harvest record is complete. How's it going? Pretty good. Is he laying there dead? I don't know. Your beard looks fantastic. Thanks. It took a lot of time. It looks about as good as his. Woo! <laughs> So what'd you think? It was fun. Fun? I don't know fun. I don't know. I hate saying that it's fun to kill something. 
but the experience was fun and I'm happy to have meat. Well, there you go. That's awesome. So uh, did it make you really sad right after you shot him or no? No, because I was mostly just concerned that I made a good shot or like that's yeah. all I was thinking was, is he dead? Is he dead? Is he dead? Because I wanted it to be quick and it was. And once I realized that, then it, it felt better. <laughs> I'm glad you all got it. Yep. That's cool. Got the goal accomplished. So. Take him home and make turkey burger out of it. That's the plan. All right, thanks. Congrats. <laughs> Bye. See ya. Uh, morning hunt kind of didn't go as we really hoped it would. We figured we'd see and hear a lot more goblin. Uh, knew the birds were there. I actually seen them yesterday in the fields and uh, really thought it'd be a whole lot better. But this is just a, a great example of after that first initial roost hunt of the morning is having you know a, a couple places to go. Even if, if it's public land, private land, it's, it's you can use this all the same anywhere you go. And we pretty much just got to this farm, got to the highest point on the farm. Started out with some crow calls and uh, Greg and Mindy actually heard him. I didn't even hear the bird the first time he gobbled, but uh, I, I know the property pretty well. So we just kind of dropped down, got up here above him. And this, this old fence right here, it, it was originally a woven wire fence and there's still a lot of places that have the woven wire, but they've come back and patched it with regular barbed wire. And turkeys can go under barbed wire a whole lot easier than trying to get over woven wire. So it worked out pretty good that uh, just got up above him, called him. He was responding every time I hen called. You know, a lot of times if you're buddy hunting, it's always nice to have that second guy that can either drop over the side of the hill or drop back in the woods further. And that's exactly what we did here. I just kept hen calling, started to drop over the back side of the hill. And that gobbler thought the hen might have been leaving. He thought she was going over the hill back here and he was going to lose her. So he better get up and check it out. That's a key thing to do when you got these ridges that just drop off real quick like that is, is be able to have somebody else to call over the side or scoot down from the hunter and kind of gives them a whole lot better chance to get a shot off. You going to call me one in now? I mean, you heard my calling. <laughs> it sounded good yesterday. <laughs> Hyena laughing. <laughs> Uh, give her, give her a slate call. Like maybe me, if you'd like me chance. to scare all the turkeys out of the area, I can do that for uh, you. I'm sure you're fine. Yeah, it's been, the, the decision to hunt has been a, a long journey for me. <laughs> I grew up in a family that didn't, didn't hunt, not that they were against it, but they just didn't hunt. I would say really growing up, anti-hunter is a little bit strong. I definitely wasn't for hunting because I am an animal person, like my nature is bonding with animals. I've always had a special connection with them. Yeah, I've been in the animal care field for basically since I left college. I went to school for fisheries, or I decided to do a fisheries and wildlife degree at UNL to become a zookeeper, and it ended up meeting Greg, so we were kind of on opposite ends of the conservation spectrum. Me, you know, wanting to work in a zoo to help promote conservation on the endangered species side of things. Somehow we managed to work out, <laughs> and basically from that day forward I was thrown into a world of, of hunting. And I think my view of the sport changed a lot in that, in that time frame of college and taking those classes, you know, learning that hunting is not, I mean, yes, you do kill animals, but it's, more, it's so much more than that. And just being able to be around groups of people that really respected the animals that they hunted. And that was something I had never gotten before. You know, I just figured all hunters just wanted to go out and blast things and they yeah, had I mean, no can, respect. There can, be, there can be a negative image Absolutely. Uh, of hunters uh, because of the actions of some and just uh, generalizations by people who don't understand hunting. So, you know, meeting the right group of people, the right group of hunters was huge for me and seeing that they respect the animals, they know more about the animals because of, of the fact that they hunt them. And so my perception started changing at that point, but still, I had no <laughs> interest, in, no actually interest in actually hunting myself. Like it was fine 
for other people to go do it and and for me to film it and all of that but pulling yeah, the well, I mean we should mention that when we met and started right. dating like you went you would come that's film me. true you started hunting with me in fact the first time we ever deer and turkey hunted together you filmed me shoot a deer and a turkey and and i would say that was actually a pivotal moment as well but still no now that, that was about 16 years ago now you've made the decision that you wanted to actually get a tag and hunt for yourself yep and that decision came in november <laughs> when I went down to our freezer and then I went over to all the boys' freezers and nobody had any turkey meat left <laughs> because they eat it as fast as they shoot it. And I have the alpha gal allergy so I can't eat any of the deer meat. And so it's just kind of become very apparent that if I want turkey meat, I'm just gonna have to do it myself. I shouldn't say do it myself. I, like I said, 99% of this was other people and 1% of this was me. So I started kind of preparing myself mentally and part of this too has been a journey of just wanting to wanting to see if I could do it mm -hmm. there there are multiple reasons people hunt this for me was was about meat it wasn't mm -hmm. I'm not gonna sit here and say it was fun to take an animal's life but I will tell you I truly enjoyed the adventure spending time with friends and just knowing that I accomplished what I put my mind to like there's a deep satisfaction and personal growth in that that I'm thankful for and he will forever be a part of that. I have just a really great community of people that have helped me in my journey along the way and not everybody has that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, there's programs, like I mentioned, Field to Fork, mm -hmm. uh, hunter, you know, just basic hunter education, whatever state that people are in is a place to get started. And also, YouTube is a great resource, the channel Hunters Connect. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of good information there. That's kind of hunting 101, like basic yep. information on how to get into hunting, game processing, and stuff like that. So there's a lot of resources out there for anyone that's, that's interested and getting into hunting and, and you know people hunt for so many different reasons and it's really cool for me personally to have seen that whole process of your journey of you know becoming a hunter and now a successful hunter and what better place to do it than the beautiful state of Tennessee and it was it was really easy to go through the process mm -hmm. of getting you a permit just download the TWRA on the go app and then you can create an account buy your permits it's all right there electronically and then check in was check really in. easy it's been a fun couple days here in Tennessee, and we still got three more days to go. We have three days left. All right, get some lunch, shed some layers, and see what the afternoon brings. Shed some layers will be good. <laughs> and he's our pack this is my mule. Gear, yeah, my gear caddy here. Our guide, our pack mule, our host. I mean, what other, how many more titles do you need? A chauffeur? All right. Oh, she got 23 it. pounder. Oh! 23 pounder. All right. Now for the next measurement. Snood. 48. 48 and a half. 48 and a half. First long bird. Beard? Aaron's beard's what? Yeah, 10 oh. inches thick right now. <laughs> right, uh, 10 and a quarter. 10 and a quarter. All right. Yeah, just cut down in there as deep as you can. All right. And then just take your fingers. Okay. Yeah, I'll hold that for you. And just pry it apart. Yeah, exactly. Just pull as far as you can go. There you go. Yep, mash on it. Now you got it. Then just peel it all the way down until you get down below that breast. On both sides? Mm-hmm. Then you can right here, when you get to that oh. part, you can take it right here. So that's the tenderloin right there? Yep, that little piece, yep. And then you can like, oh, like flap this back and start cutting that from this angle. Uh -huh. okay. Man, this is tough stuff. <laughs> there you go, buddy. There's one of them. There it is. It's kind of a sad day. We're gonna leave Andy's today. They're gonna to go to Illinois and hunt this weekend. And Greg and I are gonna go over to some public land and camp tonight and see if Greg can get a bird in the next 24 hours, essentially. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so we've had a just a really awesome trip. We're thankful for friends that are willing to give up their vacation time to help, help other people, namely me, <laughs> get my first bird. And um, it's, it's been a blast. The state of Tennessee is, is really fun. 
after I shot my bird, the next day these guys went fishing, so I decided to go do a celebratory hike to a place called Virgin Falls, which was just really a, a beautiful, fantastic hike. So if you live in Tennessee, I hope you appreciate what you've got and utilize everything that you have here. If you haven't been to Tennessee, you should probably move it up to the top of your list of places to go have an adventure because there's plenty of things to do here. This has been a great trip. I'm thankful to everybody that's kind of helped me along my way on this journey, the THP guys, Greg, Andy, David. I'm just really thankful to have people that are selfless like this so and then our guys are heading to Virginia and then Kentucky then Missouri then Aaron gets married then Aaron gets married Woo I'm trying I'm gonna try my best <laughs> this is like a monumental like nobody ever thought this was gonna happen deal oh, yeah. you can't miss out on that <laughs>